Time for a short. You got it. This is from Little Red Dog on how close can antennas be. Uh, the underlying assumption on how close can antennas be is that they're on different bands and they can actually be quite a bit different. He's got a little bit of a different question. He wants to modify handheld and it requires a second antenna. And what he's saying here makes me think that it's going to be not much different in frequency. There are ways around it and use the same connector, but using the new frequency still requires a different antenna. So I have a question, if only one antenna is in use and the other is just another antenna, what effects would you expect? If they are for very nearly the same frequency, you've created a two element Yagi. Okay, and you're gonna get some directionality out of the thing in the direction of the shorter element. Okay, if these are on different bands, for example, you have a two meter vertical beam. I've got a, a four element two meter vertical beam and you have collinear with that right inside of that, a 70 centimeter beam. You can feed them with the same piece of uh, antenna wire and the RF will go where it sees the low impedance. The other antenna that's not being used will have high impedance and the RF just doesn't go there. So if you want separate antennas, you're going to need uh, two feed lines. You can use a, this is called a duplexer. It's the MFJ916B, or you can get an equivalent by calling DX Engineering and asking them what the equivalent is if MFJ doesn't have any more of these. One cable to the two band radio, and then one cable to your two separate antennas, like a J-pole and a 70 centimeter beam or something like that. If you've got one of those J-poles that will do both 70 centimeters and two meters, you don't need to worry about a duplexer or anything like that. There you go. Until we next meet, 73.